Morning. Good morning. Jim Barrett from RJL Futures. It's uh, Tuesday the 18th. All right, second day uh, uh, bounce here extends in the in the notes and bonds. I mean, uh, uh, after Bernanke's big move last Thursday and the open-ended uh, aspect of the QE3, which freaked out the yield curve and really rocked the notes and bonds lower, we have a bit of a correction this week. Uh, a little risk off around the globe. Shanghai, I believe, was down 2%. Interesting things going on in China. The geopol geopolitical uh, nerves are frayed a bit uh, with the anniversary of the uh, invasion of Manchuria back in 38, I think it was. The Chinese public seems to be very riled up uh, against the Japanese. And, uh, uh, you know, so that, that's a tad scary. Another China thing going on is uh, uh, a bit of a trade war talk uh, due to uh, over auto parts, that is. So, uh, a couple of things there leading to uh, a bit of a risk off and uh, situation and bringing a little bit of bid into uh, both the notes and the bonds. The notes are up uh, 16 ticks, half a point. Bonds are up uh, 30 or maybe a point, nearing, nearing a little bit of resistance. Uh, once again, longer term support looks like it's held in the notes uh, late last week around the 186 level. Uh, the, uh, what got the notes down at the 186 was again, a little bit of inflation fears uh, based on uh, the Federal Reserve Board's decision to go with an open-ended QE3. Uh, the tip break even went to six-year highs. Obviously, the gold and silver screamed uh, uh, late in the day. However, everything's pulling back somewhat, led uh, in the commodity front anyways by the, by the crude oil. Big, big crash yesterday afternoon in thing market conditions has just added to the uh, jitteriness of uh, uh, risk on people. The big break in the grain market may have uh, uh, added to that feeling. Anyway, so people are looking at uh, the notes and the bonds a little a little more positively. However, they got to clear some technical hur hurdles to, to really turn up. Uh, there's a pretty good resistance in 147.10 area in the 30 year, I would say, and the 133.01 area in the notes. So uh, until we clear that, this just may be uh, corrective of last week's big break. Anyways, you can reach at 800 500 2461 to discuss any commodity future. Remember, uh, there is a risk of loss in futures trading. Thank you. <coughs>